Also as the backward design. Pocket. You will also know the people backward design because there is a practice in looking, looking the outcome, looking the outcome first before proceeding to the next step. Okay? Ay sa looking the outcome first before taking the instructional methods or the curriculum planning. Okay? Model is why kita tawag siyang backward design. Nagkakitidyan? It has three stages. One, identify desired results. Number two, determine accepted, uh, acceptable results. And number three, plan the learning experiences and instruction. UBD is sometimes linked into the concept of the theory of education by John Dewey. Again, it is sometimes basically linked to the theory of education of John Dewey and particularly the constructivism. Again, constructivism in which it states that the, the, the learners learn best when they are involved in a certain or particular activity. That is why UBD enhances a uh, engaged or embodies, okay, embodies the, the principle of learner-centered principle. Nagkakaintindihan? Again, UBD embodies or embraces rather, embraces the concept of John Dewey for the constructivism na the learners learn best when they get involved into a certain or particular activity. Embodies the, the principle of learner-centered principle. And then, if this apply in the Philippines, it would also help the CHEN or the Commission of Higher Education to, or the other institutions, to revise their existing curricula to focus on higher understanding rather than just prescribing subjects and course descriptions. This would help the UBD and this would help the CHEN. So this is this model. The UBD also becomes a current hour uh, because it integrates or it endures enduring I have the idea of enduring understanding or central idea. It advocates determinants of the of the animal and it advocates the use of authentic assessments. So I do now for the century panel business instruction, the teacher decides what type of activity ang ilang ihata and what are the materials needed for that activity o na ang activity nagkakaitin niyan ang UBD is basically linked to the theory of jumping for the constructivism na ibig sabihin that the learners learn this when they can look into an assertive activity and UBD also embodies or embraces the principle of learner-centered principle now next is we have the systematic design model. Letter A is systematic, systematic design model. Systematic design model. Uh, this is being developed by a work diamond. Originally developed the systematic design model in early 1960s. The model has two phases. One, project selection and design, and two, production, implementation, and evaluation. Systematic design model, the main concept of the systematic design model is that the model requires an intensive, intensive research. Requires, requires, requires an intensive research in which to try to consider in order to determine what are the matters to be considered or to be included in making or developing a curriculum. That is why the systematic design model needs intensive research because it needs an intensive research. It relies heavily on data. It relies heavily on data. Relies heavily on data. Since it relies heavily on data, there is a need to gather important and necessary information before proceeding to the next phase or to the 
next process. That is the systematic design model. Unlike the comparison is that the systematic design model that is intensive research and indexing of data and understanding the necessary information before proceeding to the next stage. Unlike the UBD, unlike ANI, UBD is being incorporated or used in the Philippines. But the SDM conventionally incorporated or used into the Philippines uh, as a model. It could be very difficult. Why? Because it has said from the module that the Philippine Asian institutions or some of the Philippine Asian institutions has lack of research culture. Therefore, lack of research culture, lack of needed or intensive research, magumaling difficult na pag apply na ng SDM. One good thing using SDM is that ang SDM uses diagrams. If I use the diagrams, charts, incorporating, so to that, the, it could help the curriculum workers to visualize the, the existing while developing the curriculum. Again, it uses diagrams. Diagrams. Uses diagrams. Mga na incorporating curriculum. Systematic siya, again, mga point, I hope na kista mo kasi parang na sa inyo. Mga na kaya ha? Raja mo. Again, the Robert Bellon and Gusto Chia is not a woman use of diagrams, charts before and this is a better to help the curriculum workers to visualize the existing curricula or design in the intent of designing a curriculum. Okay, more project selection design, more the next. And number two phase to production implementation and production for each unit. It has two units, I got two phases, Lama. Next. So I go. Now let's proceed to the last part of the linear, uh, last, uh, last part of the linear models of curriculum development, Murray Print model and curriculum development. Murray Print model published this model in his book, Curriculum Development and Design in 1988. Describes a sequential and logical approach to curriculum development. For Murray, Mary Murray. Mary model. For Mary model, he emphasizes the last one He emphasizes that now, our set of curriculum must follow a sequential and logical approach to curriculum, to curriculum, to curriculum development. He also asserts that one may or uh, one thing that I know must be unique and an income model because it. But it, uh, there is an inclusion of inclusion of instructional instructional evaluation. There is an instructional evaluation. This is what makes the the model of Mary Mori become unique. Although Mori is under a linear, but the procedures. His procedure, it embraces the procedures, embraces the procedure, and it embraces the cyclical and dynamic procedures. Procedures. More shaka, more model. Okay? Instructional evaluation to check, checking how effective is your teaching. Uh, to check how effective is your discussion to your students, right? to check also if uh, the, the, the subject content, the subject matter is being, uh, that the object is being armed or event so, during the recording or during the discussion. So, again, we have to sum up the fourth job into the cyclical models. Let's sum up. Number one, under the linear, and number one, the curriculum development models is divided is categorized into three. Linear, cyclical, and dynamic. So our part is cyclical, linear, and cyclical. Under the linear, we have six A, B, C, D, E, F. Number one, lighter, rational model. Number two, tapas, rational rational model. Number three, Standard based curriculum development model. Number four, UV for understanding by design model. And this is the 
more systematic design model and that the learning model. Okay, now that I'm done next, let's focus to the cyclical models of curriculum development. Okay, and in that one, cyclical. <coughs> when we say cyclical, it prescribes uh, cyclical for a continuous process. Cyclical. Cyclical models. This is continuous. If it's a being with a continuous process, if it's a being that somehow it has no beginning or it has no ending. But usually this cyclical model starts with starts with situational analysis. Situational Analysis. What is situational analysis? Examining factors that exist in environment and in society that the curriculum development is being implemented. A factors in the environment, example of factors, influences and the sources of the curriculum. Situational analysis. Analyzing the different situations either the teacher a group of the teachers or faculty members, internal, organizational, or external. Okay? Now, for this cyclical model, it is continuous in process. Cyclical meaning in a form of cycle. Next step. So, number one, we have under cyclical model number one, we have Audrey Nichols and Howard Nichols model for curriculum development. The model emphasizes the cyclical nature of curriculum development. According to its performance, curriculum development is a continuous process. Next. For this only, as the older Nichols, Nichols and Nichols models, usually they are similar to the Tigers and Kaba model. In a way, the, the only difference is that this is cyclical. If it's something proportion of cycle, and Richard one, so the number starts with the Situational analysis, kasi karong ka many people may start doon sa analysis. Situational analysis. After situational analysis, objectives, aims, goals, objectives, down to the content, and then uh, learning activities, instructional evaluation, the implementation and modification. So, paulit-ulit ang process. Bakit sa ikaw? Because it can be revised, it can be innovated, it can be monitored, carefully monitored. Kaya nga, walang kasiguradong kung asa din siya na start, kung asa po lang end. Paulit-ulit siya. If there are some senses or stimulus or stimuli na kailangan bagunin or to modify a certain part or certain aspect of this process, kailangan bagunin. That is, kandaman siya sa ikaw and it is also dynamic. Dynamic, dynamic in nature. Nagkakaintindihan. So, again, kang Nichols and Nichols, mas yung five logical, so called five logical steps. Okay? Nichols, it has five logical steps. It is, uh, this, what we call this one, <clears throat> kang Nichols, Nichols, Nichols and Nichols. <laughs> Pas pas lah, or kung nakatuan mo, naka so again, it has five. How many is one? One and only goes no. Oh, okay. So one, then selection of objectives, selection of organization of content, selection of organization of methods, and evaluation. Pa ulit ulit. Kung na ina lang ni modify, ina ang lang ni modify. So sometimes usually we start with solution analysis, okay? Sa Nichols and Nichols, sinasabi na this can also be set or used in school-based can be used school-based school-based or in national level national level siya and then it is prescriptive it is prescriptive, prescriptive, prescriptive and dynamic. Ano ba na sinabi ko? Bakit siya dynamic? Because along the way, we could make necessary changes and adjustments. That is why dynamic siya. 
contextual filters is very teacher-centered. Teacher-centered. In what way? Here in college, because this is uh, focus on the topic of higher education, yeah, it is teacher-centered. Usually, the instructors or the teachers, the faculty of the college, uh, have the academic freedom. And they are, they are, uh, they are free to choose or to, to change the curriculum plan at their own convenience. That is why, as I know, uh, we can observe, we can observe that, now they are giving exams out from the context. Okay? They did they, 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 they exam uh, out of the context or they go also internet exams without making the OS or the go of specification. That is because they are giving the academic freedom. It is, you know, giving up with that. This context of the model is useful for those new five teachers. And we have new five teachers. Okay? This is useful for the new five teachers. Can I New five teachers or instructors. We all do not have any background of the pedagogical knowledge. Okay? More It is very teacher centered. Okay. It is one of the weaknesses of this model.
where the kid is very interested and trying to promote it for the future of the family members. That's all. Thank you for the
streamer maghihapon og mga steps. Oh, uh, pero siya ang analyzing the context in which work is developed, then it's good to study uh, the different curriculum sources and their definition of different curriculum influences and also curriculum analysis. A selection of both objectives results from uh, situational analysis. It, it is prescribed for the goals and objectives and development is Nine 